I've been um, studying at Maastricht University for some years. Then I took the challenge to go to China and work for a big multinational company. And after this, I've been started working for Holzbring Ventures, which is a big um, German venture capital company in the new media um, branch. And I'm a venture manager there, so I'm working uh, in a startup for a venture capital company. Uh, well, you've been to Maastricht University, so yeah. obviously we're interested in that. Do you believe that Maastricht prepare you any better than any other university? I actually think um, that the education that we get here in Maastricht is extremely valuable for um, being an entrepreneur or working in the field of entrepreneurship like I do. Because um, here we get practical know-how, we know how to do things, we get some pressure which is not that bad and uh, we, get, we, are, we are forced to get things done. So um, we really have to show commitment, we really have to go for our targets and uh, we know it's not too theoretical what we do here. I would recommend it, especially if you want to work in the field uh, of venture capital or entrepreneurship. And do you believe that in general it is important to have a university or a higher education degree in order to become an entrepreneur or could you just go differently? I mean there are a lot of examples that show that you can be successful as an entrepreneur without having studied a big um, program or something, but I think it is helpful and um, it's extremely valuable for yourself and also for how you work. Um, later on because it gives you some certain advantage. You went to China, you worked in a blue chip company. Yeah. Um, what was the cultural difference that was most shocking for you? <laughs> going there? The most shocking um, the strong hierarchy. I mean right now I'm working in venture capital and at that time I was working in a blue chip in China. So the whole country is um, really structured, really hierarchically focused and um, this was entirely different when I came back here. So this is the biggest difference, actually, the hierarchy. Well, I have another question regarding to your tutorial, .de. maybe you could explain in a few words what that is. Um, it's an online service, so we do everything, online organization, everything, for local, offline, one-to-one -one tutoring. So if um, you have problems in university or you were young, you had problems in school, your parents or yourself could go to this page choose a tutor and then organize everything online, pay everything online and next day he will show up at your door and give you one lesson in mathematics or something. We have seen that in the past when we talked to experts in this field it was just people with really big problems needed one-to-one -one tutoring. But uh, we were really surprised seeing that um, parents are, are really competitive, they want to have this A plus grade or something and that's why they pay a lot of money. And what we also see is that students become our clients. So um, they have a lot of pressure in university and they rather take than a professional teacher from our web portal to help them uh, in, their, uh, in their preparation for an exam. And that was well actually leading to my next question. What do you think about this competitiveness really that well you've been to Maastricht, you've <laughs> kind of seen as well what, what we have around here. Do you think it's good or bad, this competitive that really exists now? I think, sure, on one side it's not that bad because it also puts the level a bit higher. And uh, you see, okay, there are people in a competitive environment, you have some benchmark and you know how to work hard. But on the other side, you shouldn't be too competitive. You could, should enjoy your study time, I think. Okay, thank you very much, Marius.